Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to create heat maps in Julia programming language using Chiromachy and PlusJL packages. Whether you are visualizing correlation matrices, geographical data, or any other 2D data, these packages make it super simple. We'll cover basic heat map creation, customizing colors, adding labels, and some tips for switching from PlusJL to Chiromachy.jl package. By the end of this video, you will be able to create beautiful, informative heat maps using both packages. Let's dive in. First of all, open up the Julia REPL by typing Julia in the terminal. Then hit the right square bracket to go into the package mode and type add plots space Chiromachy. Then you have to wait for the packages to be added to your Julia environment. I have video tutorials for both plus JL package and Chiromachy on my channel. Also, if you're interested to learn more about Julia programming language, please check out my Julia programming language full course. After the packages are installed successfully, it's time to test the packages by importing them. We use the using keyword to import the packages, that is using a space the name of the package. As you can see, both Chiromachy and Plots packages are imported successfully in our Julia REPL environments. Now it's time to write our heat map code in a specific Julia file. Here I'm typing it in the example.jl. First of all, I type using plots to import the plots package and then hit the shift enter to actually run that line of code inside the REPL. Then I have to define the function that I want to plot the heat map for. So I define the function fxy and specify it as sine x times cosine y. After we have defined the function for plotting the heat map for that specific function, we have to plot that function in a specific region or domain. To specify the domain for the function, we have to discretize the x and y axis. Here I use the range function to specify the starting and ending points and pass the length keyword, which is the number of discretization points. This way I have discretized the x axis. I have to go through the same procedure for the y axis. After discretizing both x and y axis, we have to evaluate the function over the grid. Instead of creating the grid directly and storing it in a specific variable, I use the loop comprehension to iterate over the points and create a grid out of them and evaluate the function z value by passing the x and y points to it. This way, I don't have to use a magic function like mesh grid or something like that, which is pretty common to use in other languages like MATLAB or Python. After evaluating the function or the grid, it's time to plot the heat map by using the heat map function. I pass the x, y, and z variables as the three first arguments to the heat map function and specify the color over here, a color map which is like passing a symbol name, which is predefined. You can check out the documentation for this. And also the title of the plot. Here, the heat map of sine x times cosine y. Then we evaluate that line and the heat map is plotted on the right pane of the VS code. If you have followed along to this point, you have successfully plotted a heat map in Julia programming language. Congratulations. Now I close the REPL. If you remember at the start of the tutorial, I also added the Chiromachy package. Let's plot the same heat map by using the same code but change the package from plots to Chiromachy. So I type using Chiromachy and execute each line one by one. Note that I closed the REPL and reopened it because I wanted to actually not have any conflict between the two packages by importing both of them. This is basically a good practice if you are using two packages that share some aspects with each other. So you'll avoid the conflict. After executing the heat map line, which is line 14, you see an error is thrown. It seems that by changing the package, some attributes which are passed to the heat map function have changed because Chiromachy doesn't support the attributes that we have already passed to the heat map function. The error says that the invalid attributes, color and title for the plot type heat map. So we have to somehow change or remove these attributes which are passed to the heat map function. Here I change the color attribute to color map which is supported by the heat map function inside the Chiromachy package. I can also specify a color range by passing the attribute color range and specify a range for that. But if I run this line of code again, you see that the invalid attribute title for plot type heat map still throws an error because it's an invalid attribute. So somehow I have to fix this. There might be several workarounds. 
Here first I remove the invalid attribute which is the title and run the line of code. As you can see the heat map is plotted on the right pane of the VS code. Okay, now we have to somehow specify the title for the plot. How can we do that? Well, basically, I define a figure. If you are not familiar with the figure in the Mackey package, you can check out my video on the best package to plot in Julia, which I discussed this part of the video in depth. So I create a figure object. Then I have to define the axis for this figure. Inside the axis, I pass the title option also, which is the title of our plot. Here, the heat map of sine x times cosine y as before. Now if I execute the line 18 which is the heat map function because we have to modify the figure object in place for that we have to add the exclamation mark at the end of the heat map function so it modifies its arguments in place and finally we have to call the figure object again and execute it in the Julia REPL. So here's the same heat map in the Cairo Mackey package. Support the channel by hitting the like button or the subscribe button and also share the tutorials with the other Julia enthusiasts. As always, see you all later.